Alicia is probably one of the most hardworking, inspirational players I've ever been around in my 10 plus years as a, as a coach. Her dedication to be the very best that she can be is second to none. And she loves her team. It's nice to have like a team as a family away from home. And it's nice to know that everybody has each other's back and no matter what, on the court, off the court, everybody's there for each other. For Alicia, family means that there's a commitment and there's this unconditional love. She really, truly wants to look out for you know anyone that she considers family. My father and I always had a type on. You were a friend that was over, you're staying over for dinner, welcome to stay the night. If you need some money, here's some money. Even, even if you didn't have money to give, just always welcoming people with open arms. And she loved me and my sisters and was always supporting us no matter what. Last spring, toward the end of our basketball season, probably about two or three weeks out, we knew that he was ill and struggling, um, but we didn't know, you know any of the details or how serious that it was. And then, you know, very suddenly, um, about a week before our last home game, you know, the news came down from Oregon that her father had passed. Well, it was Wednesday, February 20th, 6 in the morning. I woke up to my phone ringing, my mom calling. So I answered, and she, she said, Alicia, your dad passed away last night. And at that point, like, you can't even really, like, describe the feelings. Like, it doesn't feel real. Like, you just don't think that it happened. And then, like, as, as more time passes, you, like, it sinks in that it really did happen. And, like, he's gone. Like, um... I'm never going to see him again, and it was definitely hard and one of the worst days of my life. The Lady Dons wrap up the 2012-2013 regular season as they host the Lions of Loyola Marymount. And Gary, it's Seniors Day final home game. And you know Alicia Scafidi would love to be here to be part of this. Well, you know what? She's where she needs to be today. She's with her family, and I think everybody here is keeping a, a good thought and saying special prayers for this whole Scafidi family right now. When Alicia lost her father last year, it was a really, really difficult time for her. And I thought she handled everything as well as she could. At the same time, I can't imagine how difficult that must have been for her. The mourning process is a long one. You can't put a timeline on, hey, it's been so long, why can't you just be over it? You know, and there's good days and there's bad days, but the one thing about Alicia is, is she's got so much grit and so much character that she's always able to bounce back. I don't think I could have handled it like she did. I think I would have taken a lot more time off and I think my grades and my season would have dropped significantly and she didn't have any of that. And she was really, really strong about it. She came back from being with her family after you know, her, her dad's service she was like wanted to be back and, and wanted to help the team and I think it, it crushed her you know to, to not be able to play in our game against LMU and um, but she came back for the conference tournament and, and was instrumental in our win against Pepperdine. She just played incredible. Hardick on the left. Hardick by Scafidi coming inside. It was like wind had suddenly hit our sails at just the right time when she came back. It was it just jump started everything I and mean, it just speaks to you know her character and who she is as a person and player. Close, goes in, no look past Scafidi, tough catch, finishes with the score. The Lady Nons are moving on. They win it in the first round and they 80 to 48 over Pepperdine. I can't believe what I'm seeing, Gary. We have two awards to present. Our first is our um, academic award, and it goes to Alicia Scafidi, who was on the all-academic team, uh, WCC. So Alicia, please come up so I can talk about you. 
Leisha has been from day one, one of our hardest workers and most driven and dedicated athletes. When we were recruiting Alicia, um, her dad called me and he said, I want Alicia with you at USF. You're getting a good one. And Alicia's dad passed away this season and um, was very difficult for Alicia as for our entire USF family. And so from here on out, we're going to uh, name this award the Scafidi Award in honor of Alicia's dad and also just in honor of Alicia's fight and her spirit that I'm so thankful is here at USF. So Alicia, congratulations. Coach Aze is amazing. She's one of the reasons why I'm still here. She's the most positive person I know and having her just makes it so much easier. My dad used to always call me Rocket and I have kept it close. I have a tattoo of it and, and it kind of helps me like if I'm struggling I look at it and think that okay he's in a better place and he's watching over me and like he would want me to be happy and succeed and work hard. One thing that I realized is that something terrible did happen to me, but worse things happen to people every day. Every day somebody loses someone special and there's not a day that goes by that, um, that I don't think about him, but knowing that he was struggling and all the pain that he was going through and knowing that now like he's in a better place and, and he gets to watch me play every, every time I play and he's up there watching. and and coming back to my teammates who are all positive and it just it makes it easier to have like a smile on my face and and know that like things are going to be okay